Hello YouTube and welcome fellow knife enthusiast. Today, today we have a YF start folding utility knife and uh, it doesn't say what kind of steel it's made out of but can't can't even keep up with all these names. Uh, YF Smart. This is the only knife I've ever seen made by them. And some people might say it's a best tech ripoff. I do not have the best tech uh, nuke. Uh, I don't own one, so I cannot do a comparison. So I don't know if they're the same size or anything. Uh, does resemble it the blades pretty much identical uh, the only difference is the best tech is about 300 to 320 dollars and uh, you can get this one right now on Amazon for 19 dollars and like 95 cents or something uh, has really awesome action really like the blade shape Got a really good flat grind. Uh, you'll be able to sharpen it really easily. The sharpening choil comes way past the plunge grind. The ergos of this is really, really good. Uh, even not choked up on it, it's still like a four finger knife for me. But then you can choke up. Has a nice landing with jipping for your thumb here really really good ergos see if it slices so it comes really sharp I would hope it's at least a D2 steel I forgot to look I will leave it the Amazon link down below for it feels like it has ball bearings pretty stiff detent spidey flick really easy uh, easy access to disengage it So, definitely shake shut, almost drop shut, but not quite. Maybe if I took it apart and oiled it or tuned it or adjusted it, maybe. But, pretty good action right out of the packaging. It says it has a stainless steel handle. It feels almost like G10 to me. It got to be G10. And then it has a liners. So you got steel liners and G10. Huge pocket clip. The pocket clip, it even resembles the pocket clip of the Best Tech. Just uh, the Best Tech has milling and is uh, titanium. And for $19, there is no way that this has titanium anywhere on it. But. Still for less than, what is that, 1 15th or 1 20th of the price? Like I said, I have no idea if it's the same size. It's a little small. I kind of wish it was a little bit bigger. I guess we can do a size comparison. Get my size comparison knives out. Got the Civivi Elementum. So a little bit smaller than the Elementum. As you already know, the Elementum's a smaller knife. An awesome everyday carry. The QSP Penguin. 
can't go wrong with a penguin. How about a Ontario Rat Model 2? Pretty close to the same size. So we already know the Ontario Rat Model 1 is going to be way larger. Heck, just look at the blade compared to it. So that's a really good size representation there to show you how small it actually is. It does feel like a larger knife though in hand. And I guess we can compare it to a giveaway knife we're doing. This is going to be the Six Leaf SL02. This thing just rockets out. Amazing action on this. And we're going to be giving this away uh, for your chance to be entered into it. The word of the day is going to be fast. Uh, I think I forgot a word of the day in my last video, which would have been the Demco video where I put the aluminum scales on this Demco. Kind of had me a little frustrated taking it apart and everything else, and uh, I think I forgot to do a word of the day. So, down below, in your comment today, leave the word fast. And then uh, I'll use a r random comment picker to pick somebody like these other people. And then after we fill up this sheet, then uh, one of these people will get their name drawn for a, uh, to win this six leaf knife. So down below, leave the word fast in your comment for uh, the opportunity to uh, get your name on here. If your name's on here already, can only get your name on here once but uh you're still more than welcome to leave a comment so and we're trying to get to 500 subscribers we're gonna be doing a 500 subscriber giveaway uh i'm gonna be giving away a sing cut butt and lock knife not this one this one's mine i've carried it all on me uh i'm gonna get a brand new one haven't picked it up yet, but uh, I'm going to pick it up real soon. But I absolutely love this button lock knife. You cannot beat it. So help me get to 500 subscribers so we can give that away. Leave, the uh, leave fast in your comment down below for your opportunity to... Uh, get into the drawing for the six leaf and uh let's get back to this guy guess we can take a weight on him real quick someday i will i'll figure it out promise one of these days i'll figure it out now we got it on there for ounces and it's 4.2 so not bad but it is a little hefty but not bad at all so good looking g10 you only have It definitely looks like a T8. Do you have the pivot collar on both sides? And it looks like you only have the two screws. So it looks like this be really easy to take apart. Man, I'm a big fan of the blade shape though. And of course the action. 
Definitely don't regret picking it up. Can light switch it. Or push button it very easily. Can we get it with the thumb? Oh yeah, we can easily get it with the thumb. It's actually quite comfortable. Not as comfortable as a Spidey Flick though. Nothing as satisfying as a good Spidey Flick. Man, for $20 cannot beat it freaking awesome awesome little knife for 20 bucks it appears like it's a deep carry pocket clip but you can see there you can only carry up to here so you have quite a bit sticking out but Let me know down in the comments what you guys think of these knives. Uh, they're trying to be... They can't be a clone unless... I don't know. There's a, a fake. I guess they can't be a fake unless it's trying to pretend to be the best tech. Or trying to pretend to be uh, the Benchmade or whatever. If it actually has a name on it and comes in the same packaging uh it, it's trying to knock off the brand yeah that's a clone or a fake uh these they're made out of cheaper material cheaper blade steel cheaper handle material cheaper liner materials cheaper material on the clip cheaper coating uh and they can make them for 19 bucks so even if I had the best tech, that's $320, I think I'd still pick up this guy for 20 bucks, just to throw in my pocket and beat on. I don't know, that's the way I feel. I just love collecting knives, love having examples of all of them. Maybe someday I'll have an extra $300 to uh, throw around and pick up the best tech one. And then I can do a comparison video. But until then, thanks for watching and stay sharp.